Hi everybody, my name is Tam. I'm the studio director at Polyarch. And this is Chris. I'm the art director at Polyarch. Playing the demo for you today is Danny, the design director at Polyarch. And so this is the beginning of our, our demo for E3. Um, you'll notice that we're in a, a large library cathedral, and this is where everything begins. This is a magical library where all of the books and all of the stories about the world of Moss are being read, and in this case, written. And so you'll notice that the book is starting to come alive. There's a, a butterfly that lifts off the page. And from inside of the pages, you can hear the sounds of the forest. And by turning that last page, Danny's transported into the world. And there's that butterfly, the one that was in the library, going on this journey with you. Coming around the bend over the back there is Quill. She's the protagonist in our story. It's her adventure that you're helping her with. She notices something. And it's you. You play the role of her, her guardian. And you help guide her through this adventure. And uh, you are a physical character in Moss. In this game, you are the reader. And you read the story of Quill and write it. You can see Danny reaching into the world and interacting. It's very important to us to make sure that everything is alive. So the ferns move and the leaves and grass all react to you. It's very important for us to make sure that the player, as the reader, is a character in the game and not just a camera on the wall. So what you're seeing is Danny's viewpoint as he looks around. The camera, or where the player is sitting more accurately, is stationary. Every time Quill moves from room to room, there's the sound of a page turning in the book, which is the next page of our story. Danny smoothly transitions from one room to the next, and then all the motion you see on camera is just him moving his own head, looking around in the space and being immersed. And you notice he reached out and grabbed that brick, and he's also petting Quill. <laughs> and while he's doing this, he can actually feel Quill's heartbeat in his hand. And her heartbeat speeds up when she's scared or panicked, and slows down when she's, she's happy or comfortable. And now she's uh, beckoning you to join her on this adventure. So we created the concept of Moss by starting from some first principles for what we thought would make a good VR game. Number one is comfort. That is why the page turns and the moves between each room work the way they do. We want as many people as possible to be able to enjoy the thing that we're making. Another core tenet of uh, good VR that we feel is taking you to magical places. And uh, that's exactly what we intend to do with this adventure. And then a third thing that we thought was if we don't want to move the camera, but we want you to be able to reach in and interact with the world, we need heroes in a world where the scale works for you to remain seated and reach in and participate. So the hero Quill and all of her people and all of the adventure here take place in what we'd call a diorama scale. But then we anchor that in the real world scale of the plants and animals and scenery around you. It was important for us to connect you to the world and we felt that was the best way to do it. Um, not only with a cute little character that you want to take care of and, and uh, make sure she's protected, but also just make you feel grounded. Like remind you that you are, you are human sized with the leaves and the roots. So Danny is now going into the first bit of combat. Quill is very competent with her sword. And you control Quill with the DS4. Uh, Danny is 
maneuvering her around with the joystick, but also using the square and X buttons to uh, perform cool combos. <laughs> Those pots were being aggressive. Yep. <laughs> Danny almost took a hit. Oh. Fortunately, I think he's got this. <laughs> and this is how we heal Quill. You reach out and grab her, and she is now at 100% health. So we were inspired by the games that we grew up playing, and so there's I think every generation of game developers is a product of their inspirations, and we are just as much as anyone else. And so we really want playing this game to remind people of the classics, but hopefully by virtue of good game design and the new things that we do because we're in VR, it also has something fresh to offer at the same time. So this is a puzzle room. We sort of have three general types of experiences in the game. Platforming challenges, combat, and puzzles. I actually think it's cool how Quill ended up climbing. In the original version of the game, she could only run around on flat surfaces and couldn't even jump. And we found as we needed to bring spaces in closer to the player, it started getting hard to make the traversal of the space interesting when all she could do is run around. So then we added jumping, which made her more expressive. And then we eventually needed to add climbing because we didn't want to put ladders and ramps on everything. Yeah, it really helped us with our uh, the way we built our spaces. Oh. <laughs> There's Quill trying to tell Danny how to solve the puzzle. <laughs> she knows. So you can hear the, the satisfying sounds when you spin the, the barrel, as we call it, in this room. We want to make sure that every interaction that you do feels tactile, physical, and real. And so all the objects have weight. Everything makes a satisfying sound when you grab it, when you turn it, when you let go. Our, oh, go ahead. Our uh, audio director, Stephen Hottie, um, did an amazing job. Um, we want to make sure it's a joy. Everything, every interaction should be a joy. Oh, hey, Quill. So Danny solved the puzzle, and now she's telling him what to do next. We like puzzles because we want our game to be constantly rewarding. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have actually developed a sort of our philosophy on what makes a good puzzle and what we want to have is moments of insight that lead to a rewarding conclusion. And we don't want it to be complicated, we don't want it to be many steps, we just want it to be satisfying. And everybody as you saw there at the end, everybody loves smashing pots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which hopefully just goes along with all the other rewarding things. And this is the, uh, the antagonist for, for Quill's adventure. Her natural enemy. So we want to remind you that she still definitely needs your help. Um, she's small, but she also packs a punch. But she will need your help on this adventure. And thanks everybody for watching, and you can follow us on social media, Twitter at PolyArtGames, our website polyartgames.com. Thank you very much.